So let's continue to play around with that idea of replacing perspective. So this has a, a, a diagonal perspective here. We want to totally remove this woman or this man. And we can take the lasso tool, make our quick selection. And we can go to content aware fill. And so this is what's difficult because Photoshop doesn't know what's diagonal or not. They don't know exactly what to sample, but it looks like they did a super fabulous job. They've really improved in the 2020 version of Photoshop this, um, this algorithm, because before it would not quite understand how to fill in the blank there, but it did an excellent job here. But let's say we didn't have the Content Aware tool. For some reason, we either have an older version of Photoshop or we just don't have it available for whatever reason. How would we replace this? So one thing we could do is take a selection of the white, and then we're going to take the clone tool. We're going to sample this white section and cover it right up, just taking a sample right about here and filling it right on up. You do the same thing for the black. So just kind of showing you lots of options here. You never know what situations you're going to find yourself in. Just continuing to take multiple samples so I don't accidentally get the man again. And so that's another way to use the clone tool to eliminate it as well. This next one is getting even more complex. So now we have perspective, but we also have these squares, and she's also not perfectly fitting in that square either. So let's grab the lasso tool. Let's do a quick selection of what we want to replace. And we also have shadows here we've got to worry about. So let's see what the Content Aware Fill do, tool can do for us. Image Content Aware Fill. So we're going to take a sample so you can see the replacement. It's not doing a great job there. This is kind of what I expected the last one to do, is kind of leave some empty spots there. So I can zoom in and you can see that's probably not going to work. So this is where we have to do some good old fashioned manual work to get her to be removed. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a fresh sample of this, or we can even take this one because it's got a full sample, or I think we can do this bigger one because it's going to give us a better resolution. So we're just going to isolate the shape and we're going to just duplicate it. So we're just going to isolate it. And let's take a little bit of that white. Why not? And we're just going to duplicate. So command C, command V. We have a duplicate layer. And now we're going to have to use the perspective tool to replace it because now it's a slightly different perspective. We can't just kind of cover her up because it's not going to work. But that's what the perspective tool is all about. We're going to go to edit, perspective, warp. And we're going to do this a little bit later in the class as well. And what it's going to do is it's going to ask us to put the points of where the object exists. So it exists right in this area. This is where our object exists, right about there. We're going to press enter and it's going to go to step step two. Now step two is where we want to put the object. So this is where we're going to warp it. So we're going to move it to all four corners of the original square. So try to do the best job we can. We're going to press enter. And it just did a really nice perspective warp for us. It's like she never existed. Our only issue now is we didn't have that complete square because we took it from this area that didn't have, the photo just doesn't extend that way. And you're going to run into those situations all the time. So what we can do is this is where Content Aware Tool Command might be able to come in handy again. I'm just going to make a quick selection here of what we really want to kind of replicate. Let's see what Content Aware Fill can do here. Not a fantastic job. Let's see if changing the sampling will help here. So I think what it's doing is it had this white portion selected, so it was replicating that white portion. So let's get rid of that. We just want black squares. There we go. That's, that's kind of more what I'm looking for. I'm just going to do more of a very short, small selection so it doesn't take a sample from a bunch of different stuff. And that's why I love having this preview, because you get to kind of get it better and better without having to go back and forth. So there it filled it a little bit, 
still not perfect. But that's okay because what we could do is do the same thing we did before. Let's take this nice sample. Let's do the same thing we did. Let's copy it. Let's copy it. I believe it's this layer right here that's covering her up. Let's copy and paste that layer and see if we can't do the perspective warp again to get a cleaner look. You see how the perspective is a little off because this whole thing is going toward a different focal point. So let's go to perspective warp. So it's going to have us select where this object is. So that's one corner, another corner, another corner, and another corner. We're going to press enter and now we get to move it to where we'd like to move it to. So let's do the four corners here. One, two, three, four, enter. Let's line up the tile a little bit. So not bad. It's like she doesn't exist. So of course there's things we can polish up. So you can see right here, I can go ahead and get rid of that white selection. I'm not going to really need that ever again. So I'm just going to permanently delete it. And we have a little bit of this issue right here. So let's just get rid of her. So let's go ahead and get rid of this little hand that's left over. The best thing we could probably do is do the clone tool. That's going to give us more accurate control. So we're going to get the clone tool. We're going to sample. I think it's the bottom layer. We're going to sample her. Let's do a smaller sample. Let's sample nearby. We want to get rid of her. So we're going to sample right here in this area. And see you later. Go back and do some more. You just have way more control with that uh, clone tool. So there's a little perspective off. When I did the perspective warp tool, I probably could have lined this up a little better. But overall, it's a little complicated, but you have, this is a very complicated piece to do because you have, let's go ahead and knock all these layers off. So here's the original photo. We still have the original photo intact. So she's coming off of into the white. She has her foot that's coming off into the white and you have this really big perspective where your samples, she's covering up all the great samples here. So we can't just select this and do content aware. We had to sample some other work and bring it in and change the perspective. So once again, another really complicated project, but she's completely gone. I just have to do a little bit right there, but no big deal. But other than that, it's like she doesn't even exist. And so that's exactly what we're going for and uh, what we can want to do with mixing the content aware fill tools and the classic clone tool that Photoshop has always had access to. You could pretty much do eliminate anything you want from any picture.